my fellow comic book collectors. Today is Friday and it's Alan the Comic Collector Geek and I have a great show for you because it is the challenge. On Fridays I always do the challenge where I get you to find cool books in your collection based on a theme. And I'm going to show you some pretty cool books today <laughs> based on the theme. And you're probably wondering what's the theme. Last week it was, well actually you'll probably know because of the title, but Last week it was Virgin covers, the week before it was homage covers, and keeping with the theme of gimmick covers, the gimmick ideas for covers, um, this week it's about wraparound covers. So um, the first book actually that I'm going to show is a really cool book, and it's, it's not a flex, but it is, it, it is a great wraparound cover, um, and it's lower on the list, even though it's probably the most expensive book that I'll be showing. <laughs> It's like by far, um, but it is a cool, it's a wraparound cover. And I always, whenever I think of wraparound covers, the very first cover that comes to mind, even though there are way better wraparound covers, but this one always comes to my mind first. I don't know why. Um, and I'm going to show it. So this is my first wraparound cover. And you're probably wondering what's a wraparound cover for those people who are not as familiar with the terminology. Well, wraparound cover, all it means is that you got the front and that image, if you follow it, it goes around and comes onto the back of the book. So you can see, so this is a wraparound. This is what's called a wraparound cover. I've heard of people using uh, the term reach around as well. That's another term, but it's officially known as the wraparound cover. And so you get that kind of effect where it, it you know, the cover, if you it were able to open up the comic, and you know so show the back and front you would see that it's a full image so uh, that's a wraparound and this is number 10 on my list because really the <laughs> the image on the back isn't as cool it doesn't make that cool of an image but it's the first one i always think of i always think i don't know why i always think of this one first uh if there's a wraparound that you think of first tell me I, i'd love to hear which wraparound that comes to your mind first this next wraparound is actually an interesting one. So number nine on my list is this one. And this is actually uh, the first appearance, comic appearance of Adam Hughes artwork. He, this is where he made his first, uh, you know, artwork inside. Um, so this is Eagle number six, <laughs> sort of an under the radar key. You can pick it up for like two bucks. It's not an expensive book at all. But it is a wraparound cover. And I thought, wow, that's kind of interesting that it's a wraparound cover. And actually, I don't really like the front of this cover. <laughs> I always thought the front was kind of weird. And I didn't really like it. But the back is actually kind of cool. So it wraps, wraps around to this weird monster guy. And I, I don't know. He looks kind of interesting. So, um, so yeah, this is Eagle number six. That's number nine on my list. And I just thought that was a, you know, kind of a fun extra story about it as well. Um, this next one is another wraparound. It's actually a book. Well, trade paperback. So if you have kind of comic related trade paperbacks or books or magazines, I'll allow that on this list. It doesn't have to be just comics for this list because I, I should follow the rules. <laughs> you know, it should be only comics, but you know, I'm breaking the rules by showing some trade paperbacks. Well, this is uh, Dark Horse Presents fifth annual anniversary special. And the reason I kind of like this book is sometimes I learn from people that watch my videos. And uh, there was a video that I put out where I was super excited. Uh, it was an unboxing and I said, oh, I got, finally, I got the, the first appearance of Sin City in comics. And I showed Sin City, you know, a Dame to a Die For, I believe is the title, uh, number one. And I thought that was the first Sin City, but it is not. The first time Sin City appears in comics is actually this book, uh, Dark Horse Presents Fifth Anniversary Special. And you'll actually say uh, Sin City right there. It says Sin City. So this appeared first. Uh, it's a trade paperback kind of style 
and it's also a wraparound cover. <laughs> so, so you'll notice the image goes right onto this, like you get this weird little guy. He's actually on the edge. I think that's kind of cool. And then you got, it, it goes right around the back and you got some of the, you know, like concrete and a couple of the dark horse characters like Alien as well. Just a really cool wraparound. And the thing that I like about this wraparound as well uh, is you have all the titles that are on the front and you, it wraps around so you still get in but you can only get all the feature artists so I think that's just extra in, interesting thing about it so this is my number eight <laughs> Dark Horse presents the fifth anniversary special and it's the first appearance of uh, um, Sin City in comics so that's cool too okay uh, some of these ones, I just recently picked these up and I realized, wow, these are really cool wraparounds. Um, the first one, I still haven't even had a chance to bag and board these because I just recently picked them up. Somebody gave them to me. This one is Fantastic Four Unlimited uh, from 1995. And it's just, you know, it's kind of a nice cover on the front. But since it's not bagged and boarded, well, I can open it up and show you how the wraparound works. See how that's creates so this really cool image where you see all the heroes fighting this almost godlike character. So just really interesting wraparound. And another one that I picked up, so that's number seven, and, or is that number seven, six? Is this one, this is another Fantastic Four. But this one is interesting because, you know, normally comics are shown displayed this way. This one goes horizontally <laughs> and the wraparound. Just open it up. Is you know, you get to see the full team and I don't know. I just really like this one. So this one's a little bit high. I actually like this one better than another one. I like when you can see the full team uh, on the cover. And I think it's just a really great uh uh cover. Uh especially with um one of the things that Human Torch always seems to do is make uh, the Fantastic Four symbol in his flame. And you can see that he made the full four. And you don't really realize that it's the Fantastic Four symbol until you see the full wraparound. So I kind of like that. So this is uh, <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four Unlimited from December of 1995. So those are the next ones on my list. And now this next one is is a book but it's comics so I'm going to kind of go with it um, but I really like it and it's a really rough shape I wish I had a better copy of it but it is such an old book uh that it's hard to get in higher higher grade um this is from I believe it's from 1934 I just want to check before I say the wrong 31 1931 and this is uh the adventures of Mickey Mouse and um the wraparound is kind of interesting. You got this little tree, and then it kind of goes onto the back. You can see the tree still goes there. And on the back, actually the back is more important than the front. Uh, the back has this weird little duck, <laughs> okay? This weird duck feature. Well, that's the first time you see Donald Duck on the cover of any comic-related books. Um, so this is the first cover appearance of Donald Duck. So interesting little book. Mickey Mouse, uh, Adventures of Mickey Mouse, number one from 1931. And it's a wraparound. So it kind of fits the theme and it, I like, I like books that are first appearances or first key issues. So, um, that will always be part of <laughs> something I show whenever I show stuff. Um, and in that same theme, this next book is a bigger book, <laughs> and I don't mean that by uh, value or anything like that, but by size. It's, it's a huge book, I, but I love this. I just recently picked this up. You'll actually see it in a future unboxing, but um, it's just a really great book. I love this book. <laughs> I think it's, it just shows really, really well. This is another early 30s book. I believe this is from 33. Um, it's Walt Disney Annual. And you got this great image of Mickey Mouse and the colors on this are just so great. Um, I wish my other one looked as sharp as this one does. 
So this is Walt Disney Annual. And if you follow the green, yeah, it goes along the edge, it wraps around to the back. And I just love this back cover uh, because it's got all the characters on it. You got Pluto, you got, um, you got Lil Hiawatha, you got Mickey and Dumbo. I just, and little three blind mice. I just really, great uh back i just really like it and i and because i have a copy that really presents well it, it you know you can see just the colors are really great considering this is from the early 30s uh it is pretty amazing um so that's just another wraparound and it just happens to be the first appearance of the three little pigs in any kind of comic related book so um yeah walt disney annual that's number four on my list I'm gonna have to put that down and now we get into number three on my list and this is another turtles book um but it's one another one that I always think of when I think of wraparound covers it's Raphael number one uh, and you got this has been homaged a lot too uh Dynamite did a whole bunch of homages to it um where you got you know, I think it's, I'm not sure which turtle is. I think it's Leonardo, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like they all look the same, you know, uh, when they're just done as uh, two colors. Um, and then you got uh, Casey Jones. This is his first appearance. And it's a really great wraparound because if you follow it, uh, which one uses a scythe, actually? I forget. Okay, I always forget the turtles. I have to remember which turtle uses which weapon. I, I probably should know better, but I always forget. Um, but yeah, you can tell me in the comments below which turtle is this. Um, but he's not the only turtle that's on the book because if I flip it around, you can see the other turtles are in action in the back. Uh, actually, no, it's the same turtle. <laughs> but it is a wraparound. You got uh, the you know, characters on the back here and they're just in action. It's actually Casey Jones and uh, the same turtle. I think it's Leonardo. I want to say Leonardo, which ah, doesn't say. <laughs> I wish I would say. Um, but yeah, it's a, just a really great cover. Okay, so that's, it's actually debatable whether or not that's a wraparound because it doesn't really continue the image over. So you can, you can comment about that, how I was kind of wrong about that being a wraparound. Um, but this definitely is a wraparound, this next one. Number two on my list is, I've shown this before when we did wraparounds before, and I just I just love it, so I have to show it again. This is Wonder Woman number one. Uh, this is a George Perez cover. Uh, and if you follow it around, it is just a really amazing back cover. Uh, just a really great, uh, you know, um, you know, his, he just puts in so many little details and stuff. I just really like it. Like, I don't know. Just really like, <laughs> I really like it. I just, I don't know. I think it's really cool. So, we got all these, you know. And I'm not sure if you can see it. But you can see all the little figures that he does. Like, I mean, just all those little details. I, I, I really like when art has, like, lots of little details. Um, so, yeah, that's why... Um, I really enjoy George Perez's art. So this is um, Wonder Woman uh, number one from 1990, uh, 1987. So, yeah. And you're probably wondering, what's number one on the list? Well, this is probably the best wraparound cover that I can actually think of. Like, there's, and I have to take it out to show you. This is me actually taking it out. And it's just such a great wraparound cover. Uh, so this is Superman versus Muhammad Ali. And you can see all the people. And it's just like, um, you, know, you got Jimmy Carter, you got Batman, you got, and every single one of these people are real people. Well, well, real-ish, <laughs> I guess, if there's Batman there. Um, you know, it's, uh, but then if you wrap around, you can see the rest of the audience. Just, you know, it's all these celebrities. It's just really cool. It's just like a huge crowd. And I just like the fact, there was an homage that was done to this by um, Die, 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 that has the first uh, appearance of, um, 
uh, Gro Grogu, the, you know, Yoda baby, or baby Yoda, I should say. Uh, that's an homage to this. That's also really great. But I thought this one was just brilliant with uh, all the people that they show. Uh, again, I, I, I generally love covers that have lots of details. So uh, I think this one was kind of fun, fun, fun for that. It's just an iconic cover with uh, Superman fighting Muhammad Ali. So uh, fight to save the earth from Star Warriors. Superman versus Muhammad Ali. So that's that's the that's the last one, and it's a Neil Adams cover. So I hope you enjoyed my top ten list of uh, wraparound covers, and I'd love to see what wraparound covers you have in your collection that you can pull out and uh, uh, participate in this challenge. Um, to participate, all you have to do is use the hashtag Friday uh, Comic Challenge and hashtag wraparound covers <laughs> if you use those two hashtags in your title of your video everybody in the community will get to see your video and you know it's a fun thing and, you know hopefully people partake <laughs> partake in this and enjoy it so thanks again for watching bye for now